Why does your twin flame block you? And why do they not want to talk to you? So my friends, this is because you must have seen this pattern within you. Your twin flame is a mirror of you. When we say mirror, it's easy to say that they are a mirror. But a more precise way to explain is that they are your co-partner in your inner work. Now, when we start looking at our twin flames in this way, you will start getting your answers yourself. You. <laughs> It will make your inner work and your twin flame journey much, much easier. So listen to this. When your twin flame is blocking you, they are guiding you towards some place which you are refusing to see and which is within you. It's not on the outside, it's on the inside. Now your twin flame is co-partnering with you in your inner work. And what do I mean by that? is when they block you, they are showing you, they are telling you that you are meant to go within and feel the love and receive the love that I have for you and it is already within your heart. Your twin flame is guiding you to your heart where he already lives, where he or she already lives. Now, you'll have to focus uh, on what I'm saying and harness this energy every day, all day, every day. So now, you don't have to get uh, frustrated and try to call them through different phone numbers or try to contact them on the outside, go over to their house and knock on their door or anything. No. All you need to do is Go in your heart and feel your feelings, first of all, feel your feelings about how does it feel that they've blocked you, okay? All those unworthiness, the feeling of unworthiness, the feeling of being discarded, the feeling of abandonment, the feeling of lost or not wanted, let those feelings come up and it's okay to sit with them and then love yourself through all of these feelings. Remind yourself that I am with myself, I adore myself, I am wanted by myself and I am there for myself. Keep receiving that love from within you for you. Build that relationship, that genuine relationship for you, within you, for yourself. Get so involved in loving yourself that it has stopped bothering you that they have blocked you. But that also doesn't mean that you numb yourself there. You are meant to be in proper contact with your twin flame. You are meant to have a partnership, live a life purpose together and um, have a harmonious union, have a family together. You're meant to have all of that. But the way to that is not the way the world teaches you. The world teaches you do things on the outside, uh, maybe sing a song in front of their window. Don't do that, like especially for your twin play. <laughs> so this is not about impressing your twin flame on the outside. A lot of times uh, I've seen like when, when people are blocked or you know, even if their twin flame is not giving them attention, all they're doing is constantly changing their profile picture or um, trying to show to their twin flame, look how happy I am, now I'm happy, will you come? Now I'm happy, will you come? Will you come? So there's a voice inside you that is asking for your twin flame to come. Now, this is a very subtle place, it's a very, you know, deep, deep, deep place where you're like, I am hungry for love. And that is the exact point where you need to go and grab yourself and love yourself there. Don't let yourself wait for something to change on the outside to be loved. Underline this. Don't let yourself wait for something to change on the outside to feel loved right now. So this is where the switch will start happening. You are wanting the results. You do the inner work so that you have the results on the outside. The outside results are mere 
secondary effect of your inner work. It is the secondary effect, but the primary effect of your inner work has to be you feeling fulfilled. You feeling full in love with yourself and that being enough for yourself. And that does not mean that you are created in misery and created single, created when you are loving yourself, you are loving your union in you. Because you are a union. Your soul is a union. When you are loving your inner little child, you are literally loving your twin flame at the same time. When your inner child has built that love and divine uh, friendship and trust with you, that's when you will feel confident in being with your inner child and your inner child being confident in being with you, you will build an amazing partnership together and your twin flame will naturally magnetize. Let them come on their own, let them be on their own. You don't go and grab them. You don't need to put up a show or show them how happy you are. You have to be happy. Now your next question should be, am I happy? You know, am I happy in doing what I'm doing? Am I happy in doing my inner work? Am, or am I just continuing my own misery and dragging myself and telling myself stories that, yeah, he's gonna come, he's gonna come. No, there needs to be a point where you come to your reality, do a reality check and you're like, I wanna be happy now. And how does that happen? is by loving yourself in the places where it's not feeling good. So I highly recommend if you haven't yet already buy the book Twin Flames Finally Your Ultimate Lover. I don't get anything by saying this so don't feel like I'm getting some kind of commission or something. Buy the book because it's the best book in the market. It will not lead you astray. It will take you straight to your harmonious union. Your harmonious union my friends. So that book has the perfect, perfect guidance. You can read the chapter five. It talks about the mirror exercise. A mirror exercise teaches you how to actually reverse the scenarios that you're experiencing on the outside and point them back to yourself so you can love yourself. It's a method of self-love. That's all it is. And it doesn't mean that it stops there. Once you learn the mirror exercise, you will naturally innovate ways of finding reasons to love yourself and knowing how to just go within and love yourself. That is exactly why your twin flame has blocked you. Your twin flame has said, no more looking on the outside. I'm done with the outside. And that is you or your inner voice. Because your twin flame is a kind of drama dramatizing your inner voice. He or she is conveying what your inner wants to convey to you. See it that way. That's how you partner with each other. Your inner is saying, no, stop it. You have to listen to that part of you that's saying, no, stop it. Stop looking on the outside. Love me here. Love me here. So that's what the block means. The block means go within, go within. Block equals to go within. So keep loving yourself, my friend. Let the twin flame come automatically, naturally. You don't want to grab them. You don't want to force yourself on them. You don't want them to see, oh, how great I am. No, they already know. They already love you. You know how you see your twin flame? Magical, beautiful. They already see you that way. But unfortunately, they cannot... Uh, they cannot go against the law of nature. Nature will bring you together only if you love yourself. And that is a hard thing to do. Probably their role is even harder than ours because they are also unhappy without their twin flames. No matter how many partners they change or they try to look on the outside for the next perfect partner, it's not going to work even for them. So my dear friends, if you love your twin flame, then love yourself first so that they can find their perfect love, which is you. So allow this partnership to flower. Understand that this dynamic that's going on, it is a partnership, whether you like it or not. It has been going on forever. You have been partners. And if your twin flame is showing you an extreme way, 
let it be extreme it's okay it's going to mellow down it's going to change as you change your twin flame will change as you change your twin flame will change that's how it is so you've got to change your attitude which is trying to look everything on the outside and see where you're doing that in other relationships as well like does my mom see how great i am does my dad see how great i am do my friends see how great i am do I... so if you're carrying this attitude in all areas of your life it's going to reflect in your union so you've got to stop this everywhere you've got to stop this attitude of looking on the outside and trying to gain likes and uh, you know um validations you don't need that my friends just go within love yourself give yourself that validation give yourself that freedom give yourself that um everything that you desire and don't let the outside fool you even if you're grabbing a lot of validations on the outside that does not mean you're validating yourself it doesn't work that way so you have to know are you validating yourself are you saying to yourself i'm so proud and happy where i have come i'm so proud and happy where i'm headed ahead and even if i fail i'm going to love myself even if i don't do so that so much that um uh, i am uh, the best of in what i do in what i in whatever field i am i am best right now for myself accepting yourself exactly where you are doesn't matter of what it results in because you are not your results you are a divine child of god you will always experience god in his fullest form in her fullest form always so when you are experiencing god in every moment why would you wait for tomorrow for things to change all right my friends i hope you have grabbed something good from this um video like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next videos take care